Hey guys, so uh, yeah, I just wanted to come on here and introduce uh, this series. So basically, uh, I'm going to be taking you through my, my training week this week. Uh, it's the seventh week of my uh, marathon uh, training week. Uh, I filmed uh, on most of the days, taking you through uh, what the workout was, how I felt, um, yeah, and some and some splits. Uh, on the uh, Monday, I took a rest day after the long run on the Sunday before that. Uh, and then on the Tuesday, I did about seven and a half kilometers uh, at uh, about five minutes per k pace. And yeah, just uh, really trying to take it uh, easy before uh, the session on, uh, on Tuesday. Hey guys, good morning. So uh, today it's uh, Wednesday and it's the second run of the week and it's the first session. And today we're going to do 45 minutes at uh, marathon pace. Okay guys, so uh, 45 minutes at uh, marathon pace done. Yeah, it was a bit harder than it should have been, uh, like uh, for a marathon effort. Um, but uh, yeah, we had paces for uh, sub three uh, marathon pace perfectly. Um, yeah, now we'll uh, rest and then uh, tomorrow uh, we'll go again. Hey guys, good morning. So it's um, Thursday. So we're just gonna do an easy run, about 30 minutes or so. Uh, in between the sessions so you say we had uh, 45 minutes of marathon pace and tomorrow we have a bit of a faster session so uh, yeah today just an easy session uh, to keep uh, the legs uh, turning over and uh, recovering for tomorrow's run okay guys just finished the 30 minute season and yeah that was uh, a lot harder than expected because of the uh, wind and the rain hey guys good morning so it's uh, Friday today today we're gonna do a speed session so we're gonna do uh, eight uh, kilometer repeats yeah I think uh, during marathon training it's important to do also uh, some stuff faster than uh, goal pace because obviously marathon pace is uh, not so fast we'll uh, do the session and uh, check in afterwards So that was um, eight uh, by a kilometer done. And uh, yeah, it felt uh, better than it did uh, a few weeks ago. And uh, also, yeah, the splits were uh, a bit faster. So that's uh, a good sign. Now, uh, tomorrow is the rest day. And then on Sunday, we'll have uh, the long run. So I'm uh, on the way to the gym now. About to do a strength session. Second uh, strength session uh, of this week. I'll uh, try for a minute. Hey guys, good morning. So it's uh, Sunday, and uh, yeah, I just I just talk you through uh, my nutrition and what I'm uh, going to take for this uh, long run. So I'm going to be trying out the Morton shrimp mix and also the um, gels. I'm going to take the 160 before. That's uh, 39 grams of carbs. And then for during, I'm going to have 320, which has. 80 grams of carbs, I think, and I'm gonna split that up into two soft flasks. I'll also have the two gels, which are 25 each, so another 50 in total. And I'll have some of these gummies as well, these are 20, uh, 21 grams of carbs each. And I have uh, a bagel in the oven, which is another 49 grams of carbs, so yeah, together, let's I, I'll put, put up on the screen, uh, yeah, how many. Uh, those carbs have been for uh, yeah, the three hour long run today.
guys. So uh, yeah, we had to move it today. Yeah, we had to improvise. So we did um, 36k, but we did uh, 12k on the road. And it was really windy and rainy and wet. So I decided to make a quick stop to the gym. Did another 16k there. And then uh, yeah, finished off with another 8k uh, on the road. But yeah, all in all, at least uh, managed to get it done, long run done. In increments, five minutes uh, more or less rest in between each, so just hop straight onto the treadmill. But yeah, 36k total uh, done. So um, now it's after the run and just uh, gobbling down some um, eggs on toast and um, an electrolyte uh, drink. Thanks for watching this uh, series. I hope you enjoyed it and found it uh, insightful. Next week, I'm doing a half marathon um, in preparation for the for the civil marathon, which will be four weeks after that. And I'm going to be doing the Zoetermeer half marathon in the Netherlands. I think it's quite a small uh, half marathon. I've never done it before, but it was the only one I could find close to me, which uh, yeah, which will be taking place uh, four weeks for the marathon so it's a big good preparation to see uh, where I'm at. I'm hoping to run it around 124 maybe maybe a bit faster even. I think that would put me in a good position to run sub 3 in uh, in Seville but obviously we we'll just have to wait to see uh, how it pans out on the day and hopefully the weather won't be as bad as it's been this last uh, this last week. Yeah, stay tuned uh, for that. Also, uh, I'm excited to announce that we're uh, doing a new series with uh, my girlfriend Martina. She um, started running last year and uh, during the festive period she took some, uh, some time off from running. So now she's uh, getting back into it and uh, yeah, we um, came up with this series which is called uh, Five Weeks to Get uh, 5K Fit. Yeah, stay tuned for that on the channel uh, also coming uh, soon. Thanks uh, so much uh, for watching uh, this video. Make sure to like and uh, subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next video.